The sound of flashbangs filled the Carlsbad neighborhood just hours ago where SWAT officers had a community blocked off for hours just trying to get a wanted man to emerge from a home. Little did they know he escaped from that home and fled south to National City where he was eventually arrested. Tennis reporter Preston Phillips is now live in Carlsbad with how police tracked that man 40 miles away. Well, Steve, police were able to ping Corey Nicholas's cell phone to a Walmart on Highland Avenue in National City, where they did eventually arrest him. But get this, just before police were called out here, neighbors tell us parents were picking their kids up from a daycare that's run out of this house here on the 2800 block of Casadero Drive. Flashbangs and other methods were used by Carlsbad SWAT officers Friday evening in an attempt to make contact with a man they believed had barricaded himself inside this house on the 2800 block of Casadero Drive. Corey Nicholas, we've given you multiple opportunities over the past two hours to surrender. Carlsbad police were initially called to the house around 4 in the afternoon. The man's girlfriend, who runs a daycare there called Steps for Success, called police reporting her boyfriend had assaulted her and was still inside the house. Thinking he was still there and simply wouldn't come out, police evacuated the next door neighbors and activated SWAT. During the standoff, police learned the man they were looking for, Corey Nicholas, may be in National City. Come to find out, he had hopped his fence and fled some 40 miles to a Walmart on Highland Avenue in National City, where police caught up with him and made an arrest. And Carlsbad PD tell me it wasn't long ago that they arrested Corey Nicholas at this very same house for something very similar. He's been booked into the San Diego County Jail for domestic violence and making threats to his girlfriend. That's the latest for now. We're reporting live tonight from Carlsbad, Preston Phillips, 10 News.